Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for the 13th to the 20th. I am Charlene Lozette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you guys and gals this week. Okay. We've got the Five of Cups, or Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Temperance, Six of Cups, the Death card. Whoa, big shifts. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the moon. Okay. Cancer, it's okay. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid transmission activation. Yeah. Look, Cancer, you may want to sit down for this one, baby. There's there's a lot to deliver here. Not bad. It's not bad stuff. It's just really important stuff. It's, I don't want to say that it's heavy. It's transformative. That's the word. It's, yeah, adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. This week, you're going through really, um, uh, uh, you ever been on a plate? If you've ever been on a plane and the pilot goes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need you to buckle in your seatbelts because we're flying through some turbulence. Please remain seated at all times. All right? The turn fast and seatbelt light will be uh, going on shortly. It's not on already. Yeah. That's basically what's happening here. But see, the reason for this is because, because you, my love, have chosen these detours because you needed to learn from them but now the universe is trying to like redirect you right so just like a plane when it goes through turbulence right it has to like ebb and flow with the clouds and the and the air pressure etc that's your life this week it's not bad it just ha you have to go through it right you got to go through it because you're going to be victorious on the other side of it we have saturn here with this capricorn and aquarius energy the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles this is like Choosing to stay out in the cold and feeling like you're holding on here, right? You're holding on for dear life with that four of pentacles. You uh, are so used to this narrative or the story and the universe is like, it's not serving you anymore. It's time for you to release it. You're not really left out in the cold. There's help here. You're not really alone. There's a whole town here. I get it, my love. Like, I get it. Okay, I get the feeling of isolation. For some of you, you may be walking away from a traumatic relationship, a controlling relationship, an abusive relationship. And if you are, you are not alone in this and you deserve to feel love, joy, and happiness, Cancer. Okay? The universe is activating you this week and that's hard. It's hard to walk away from something that you've known for so long and it's also hard to accept that you are in this situation, right? The reality when it hits you can be jarring. And that's what's happening here with temperance. The universe is showing me that you deserve happiness and joy and love and fulfillment that you, you can look back to these beautiful nostalgic child, like memories or your childhood and understand that in life, how we grow is sometimes, um, or how we grow up, I should say, uh, sometimes determines who we attract in our life. And this week, you're realizing and learning that a lot of the romantic relationships that you've had in the past really can be surmised to what you experienced growing up. And this relationship, if you're in one right now, or this connection, um, or this thing that you're releasing this week is um, really um, part of your own growth, your own expansion, your own transformation with this death card, this death and rebirth card, right? With the queen of pentacles here showing up and the moon, this is like uh, your mother wounds cancer for some of you okay uh, recognizing your mother wounds or your divine feminine wounds but above that this is you transforming what does stability really look like for you right what does safety really look like for you how did you not get it how are you not getting it right now what do you need to do to be able to attract it where are the fears uh, uh, and narratives or illusions showing up telling you that you can't leave these toxic environments or these toxic people it's not true my love Love. It's not true. The story is coming through and I'm not sure who this resonates with. So take it, leave it or listen to it and see and see the message that's coming through for you. The big message that's coming through is like watching your mom get into these um, uh, less than ideal relationships or uh, toxic connections and then thinking that you had to repeat the same thing growing up. That's not true at all, my love. You don't have to repeat any of that stuff. 
okay? You deserve to feel love. You deserve to feel joy. You deserve to feel happiness in your romantic relationships. Even the amulet you've got is Victoria. It's connected to the rose quartz and moonstone. It's about being victorious, okay? When you operate from heart center. If you're ready to align with your heart center, if you're ready to align with source, you can pick up Victoria in the description box below, all right? Now, let me go ahead and take a look what's going on for you for love here. We've got pay attention to the red flags, finances and career, and playfulness. Okay, look, I'm going to say it again. If you are in a toxic, controlling, or abusive relationship, this week the universe is going to be helping you to free yourself from this person, the devil. Absolutely. Finances and career, six of swords. Everything that hasn't been working out for you right now is going to be coming to the forefront so that you could see like this person or this situation or this community or whatever it is, is not good for you. It's time for you to cut it out and move forward from it. These people, this person, this environment is holding you back. It's got its grasp on you, but really you're free to go. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy, okay? Don't allow yourself to feel like you're chained and bound to somebody who is unworthy of you because you are not. You understand that? You are not, all right? I'm going to pop your monthly video here. If you want to book a session and get one-on-one -on -one support around the situation or you want to pick up your amulet, it's in the description box below, all right, my loves? Remember, you are loved, you are worthy, and you do not have to stay in anything that is not respectful or worthy of you. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.